for my next adventure, I thought I'd stay a little closer to home and show you around my neighbourhood. After, I'd escape to the hills to find some fun roads and trails to ride on. So here we are in my hometown of San Pedro, the port of Los Angeles. Container ships from all over the world come into Los Angeles port here. Now the reason I love San Pedro is it's very diverse. You've got the gritty side, the industrial side here. Then you've got the fishing village and all of the fishermen. And then just up on the hills, the very posh and multi-millionaires of Palo Verde. The beautiful peninsula between us. So there's lots going on here. San Pedro is full of interesting shops. Definitely some interesting artwork. So let's jump back on the Aprilia and I'll go and take a look around. The first place I wanted to show you is a family run motorcycle shop that's just crammed full of beautiful vintage and classic motorbikes. So we're here at Century Motorcycles in the heart of San Pedro. Now this is one of America's oldest motorcycle shops. It's got gorgeous motorcycles in there, classics, vintage and even a bit of modern stuff. I always feel right at home going here seeing all of the British bikes. But come with me, let's go take a look. Look at this beauty, one of the first super bikes. It's in mint condition, it's gorgeous. Look at this crazy machine, an old vintage hill climbing bike. Amazing, probably a real ripper to ride. <laughs> oh, I love these things. A cool scooter. Now, not many people come back here, but check this place out. And this is Tim, the owner. This place has been in the family for generations. 53 by my grandfather, William Cottom. And uh, my mom grew up here, my brother and I, and place has been doing good for a long time. Yeah. Thanks to the great customer base and good bikes to work on. Check him out, he's here. Amazing bikes. After drooling over those cool classic bikes, it was then time to take you down to the docks. So this is the fish market. This is a fine place in San Pedro. Awesome fresh fish, loads of choice. Pick what you want, they'll prep it, gut it, and then just throw it on the grill. Gorgeous. Oh my god, look at the size of that. So heavy. We came over the beautiful Vincent Thomas Bridge and now we're on the terminal island part of San Pedro. And this part of San Pedro used to be home to over 3,000 Japanese and Japanese American residents. They specialized in canned tuna down here. When Pearl Harbor happened, they moved all of the Japanese and Japanese Americans out of this area within 48 hours. And that was the end of the beautiful fishing village here. Unfortunately, all that's left of that is a memorial and this, what used to be a very, very busy street, Tuna Street, 
full of shops, residents and a real great community is just left to ruin. Very sad. But it's a very interesting part of San Pedro. The container ships are incredible. Still lots of fishing going on here and the odd business. Oh, it's lunchtime. And if you want a big sandwich, there's only one place to go. To the best sandwich shop in town. Oh my goodness. The smell is amazing, I haven't even walked in yet. Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> Look at that guys, my goodness me, these are fine. Just out of San Pedro, we've got the stunning Palo Verde Peninsula. This part of the coastline is gorgeous and some great roads around here. So that's San Pedro, my hometown. Now we're gonna jump back on this Aprilia and head into LA. We're gonna go and check out the Peterson Automotive Museum, an incredible, stunning looking building with some amazing cars and bikes inside. So let's go. We're here at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. We're on the second floor. This is the bike collection. Some superb looking bikes here. Come check these out. They have some beautiful motorcycles, but a lot more stunning cars. Batmobile, Batman sidecar. So that's it, after looking around at all the beautiful cars and motorbikes, now we're gonna take part in a podcast for the museum. You can check that out in the description below. After that, we're gonna go and hit the canyons and the twisties. Yeah, well, I've been involved do, uh, making motorcycle videos all the way back since 2008. Oh, wow. Um, I watched The Long Way Around with Ewan McGregor and Charlie Boardman, was totally inspired by that. Yeah. Was coming to the end of my racing career, I didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, so I bought a camcorder, uh, flew to New York, bought a motorbike for $200 and rode it across America and filmed myself kind of doing my trip, my road trip, my road blog. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit ahead of the time because YouTube wasn't as popular back then and um, but I've been made, making motorcycle travel videos all the way back since then. Why would you not ride a motorcycle if you lived in Los Angeles? Look at that and that's every day, all day. Get a motorbike.
Oh, to get away from this busy city and all of those cars, I headed for the remote hills and searched for a quiet place to set up camp. What a great spot to camp. My goodness. Beautiful. Let's get back on this Aprilia. Hit some more fun roads. Up early, it was a great time to hit the canyon roads before LA's notorious traffic got rolling. The plan for the day was simple. Get away from the city and find some fun roads to ride. short stint on the freeway would now take me north as I rode into Santa Barbara County. From there, I'd make a quick pit stop, fill up my belly, and then burn off those calories on the back roads. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Double patty, bacon, and a sandwich. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm thirsty. Finding remote twisty roads is always a delight, and this one was no exception. In fact, it was so much fun, it was hard to keep the wheels on the ground. left all of that traffic behind. Look at this. We are above the clouds. Best part, there's nobody up here. The roads are fantastic. The Aprilia Caprinard's handling the conditions perfectly. Amazing roads, perfect weather. What more could you ask for? Maybe a bit of trail riding. Let's go find some dirt trails. Let's go and have a bit of fun. Now just because the Aprilia Rally is fitted with street tyres, 
didn't mean that was going to stop me from having some fun on the dirt. in the Aprilia Campanade, oh my goodness. We started off in the city, absolutely hellish, cars everywhere, then we made it out here into the countryside. Oh, from then on, it's just been awesome roads, and great trails, what a fantastic day. Now it's your turn. Jump on your motorbike, head for the hills, and ride free. Thank you. 